Hey everybody, what is going on today? And in this Illustrator CS6 tutorial, we're gonna learn how to blend colors. And we're gonna blend the fill colors because you can't use, uh, you can't blend the stroke colors using uh, this method that we're going to use here. So let's go ahead and create three, at least three objects because you gotta have three or more objects to use this uh, technique. So I made three circles, and the colors I picked in this were RGB red, RGB green, and RGB blue. You can find those. They're usually right up here at the top. See RGB red, RGB green, and then RGB blue. All right, now I got those, and I have these on top of each other. The first thing I'm going to do is select all these together. I'm going to go to Edit, and we're going to go to Edit Colors. And we've got a couple blendings going on here. We got blend front to back, blend horizontally, and blend vertically. We'll start with blend front to back, and I'll click on it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to use the fill color of the front and the back objects um, in whatever you have selected, and it's going to it's going to use those as the starting and ending colors in the blend, and then it's going to blend this one. Uh, if I hit Control Z and go back, we're going to go to the next one, which is Blend Horizontally. And I click that, and that's going to use the fill color of the left side and the right side, and then that's going to be the starting and ending colors of the blend. So this one gets blended. And then you can probably guess what this one's going to do when you blend vertically. It's going to use the top and the bottom objects, so this one's at the top, and this one's at the bottom, and it's going to make use those colors to, to blend to make this color here. So that's how you use that one. Pretty easy. Now I'm going to show you how to do another thing called an automatic blend. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use two colors. Let me get out of this. I'll put this color over here to the side, and I'll use these two colors. I accidentally double-clicked it. I'm going to select these, and for this method, you got to select two or more, and you don't have to select three, you just two or more, and we're going to go to the object menu this time, and we're going to go to blend, which is down here, and then all we're going to do is click make, and that's going to do a gradual blend in between the objects, as you can see, that's pretty cool. Now I can go ahead and try to make do these three object blend make and you can see how this works it does it from a path that's like pretty much straight on and I can use my uh, selection tools to move these around which is pretty nice all right now the next thing that I want to show you is all you need to do to get rid of these, if you didn't, if you don't like what's going on, is just hit Control Z, and it'll take the blend right off. Now, there's another one that we can thing that we can do. Let's blend these two colors together. Object blend, and then we'll go to make. So you got these here, and you don't really like it. Go to object blend and release, and it's going to just release it there for you. That way, if you're way too far into your project and you then you realize that you don't want the blend anymore, then you can uh, release them that way. You just have to have the two objects selected already. Have them selected. And you can see that when you blend objects, it makes a path as well. And the path is what connects these two objects and and uh, gives you gives the object the blending path that you're looking for. So you got one which can create uh, colors blended on top of, or create another color by blending two other colors. And then you've got another one that blends gradually, kind of like a gradient between two objects. Now, that's all I'm going to show you for this set of blending. And then in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you some more blending, uh, blending techniques. So stay tuned for that. And... Be sure to subscribe if it doesn't get posted immediately, 
to be updated when it does get posted. So thanks for watching, everybody. You guys all have a great day.